Well, good morning, VBS volunteers. It's Taylor here. This is your pre-recorded meeting that isn't a meeting but was going to be, but now it's pre-recorded. Um, a lot of you know that I have had a crazy couple of weeks. I had emergency surgery almost two weeks ago. On Saturday, it will be two weeks. And so I called our meeting off just to give myself a little bit more time and grace to get um, what I wanted to talk to you guys about ready. So um, I am doing amazing. I mean that. I'm doing really, really well. This is my second time having the same exact surgery. I had it once in high school and then two weeks ago. And the recovery this time has been night and day difference. It has been so, so smooth. And so thank you for the prayers for those of you that knew. Um, I have felt them and I am I'm pretty much 100% back. So I am so grateful for that. And thank you for just your flexibility with uh, having a meeting and then it being called off and now watching this video. So I hope this is a little more convenient for you um, being able to watch and reply and communicate in your own time and at your own convenience. So, but we have some awesome stuff to talk about. I'll try to keep it short and sweet. But again, thank you so much for your willingness to serve in VBS this year. I love VBS. I don't know about you guys, but it is one of my favorite parts of children's ministry. It is just, it's it's different and it's just a little break from, from the normal weekly schedule we have and it just gives us a chance to go a lot deeper with these kids because, you know, a few hours for a few nights is a lot more time than an hour on a Sunday. And so we just have the chance to really have great conversations and just really touch on subjects that maybe we don't have a chance to on Sundays. So I see it as a huge opportunity, a huge win for any children's ministry that can do a VBS. And I am so excited we're in a place where we can, and especially with the COVID protocols lightening up, um, which was just like an overnight thing. It kind of threw me. I don't know about you guys, but I was not prepared for the CDC to come out with all of this, but it's great. It's great. And it's a huge win for ministry. And so hopefully a lot of families will feel comfortable this year sending their kids to VBS and families that aren't even a part of the river. We want this to be a huge outreach event and we'll talk about that a little bit when we talk about promotions and how we can all work together to get the word out in the community and, and to bring kids in. We are so excited for that. So I just wanted to go over some basic information. If you're getting this video, you said yes on our survey monkey to being willing to serve ahead of time. A lot of you said both. You're willing to serve ahead of time and during VBS, which is just so awesome. So thank you. So the stuff we're going to talk about today is more like ahead of time things. We'll talk a little bit about the flow of the week and what you can sign up for in, in that sense, but also what we can do ahead of time to really just start preparing and prepare well and make this a really awesome event. So Let's just go over some basic information, kind of the who, what, when, where, and why stuff of VBS this year. So our dates are solidified for July 12th through 15th, and we're going to be 6 to 8.30 p.m. every night. So this is a good window. gives us a lot of time with the kids every night. Um, but if you've ever served at VBS, you know it could be five hours long and it feels like 30 minutes because it's just packed full of stuff. But this is a really great time. It will give families some time in the evening to get a meal in, to have some time before they come to the church and then 8.30. It's probably going to be a little later for some of the kids, but you know, it's one week of the summer. It's a fun little different kind of thing. So that will be fun for the kids to stay up a little bit and be with some friends. So July 12th through 15th, 6 through 8.15 or 8.30 every night. So check in. We have some awesome people, Brittany and Marla, who are um, regular Riverbank Kids check-in team members on Sunday mornings. They have agreed. We've come up with a little rotating schedule for them. They'll be here a part of us, our VBS every night. And uh, check-in will be where it is right now for Sunday mornings. And we're going to do pre-registration, all of that, of course. So that will make the check-in every night really smooth and really easy. Um, so that's that. And then the kids will head over into the worship center for a little bit of large group time. This is what we'll do, do music. Our worship pastor, Justin, who is phenomenal, has agreed to come and lead some worship every night. Our VBS curriculum, which we'll talk about in a minute, 
uh, does come with some songs so he's gonna do a mix of that and then a mix of like just some camp fun kids songs that he knows and has led before so that's gonna be great we'll have our welcome we'll have some games Lindsay Hilty has agreed to kind of be my second in command for the welcome which is gonna be great um, she did, doesn't even know the fun that she signed up for when she said that she's willing to do that so thank you Lindsay I appreciate you um, we'll kind of introduce the lesson and then the difference with this VBS, so let me just tell you a little bit about this curriculum so you know. I know most of you are parents. You're going to have your own kids here. Um, so we are using an outside curriculum. It's called Grow. And so we use Group on Sunday mornings, which is a great, great curriculum. And they have some VBS, but Grow also offers VBS. And Grow is kind of an up-and-coming curriculum. Um, it's doing really great things. It's it's getting a lot of success stories. I'm in some community groups online that um, are Grow sponsored, and and most of the people in those group use Grow, unlike me <laughs> who uses this group. But it's it's great, and they offer free VBS. And you don't even have to use Grow. You don't have to be a part of everything they're doing. They just offer it. They offer two options and anybody and everybody can get online and download this VBS and use it for free. It's amazing. It's amazing. And they offered two options this year. They offered a deep sea option and then they offered uh, what we are going to be doing which is called I Wonder. And I Wonder is a STEM based VBS. So science, technology, engineering, and math. And so it's different. It's really different. I've never done a science technology VBS. I was telling somebody the other day on Sunday um, about it. And I was like, you know, I'm excited because it's not the ocean and it's not the jungle. <laughs> and I just feel like that's all I've ever done in VBS is the ocean and the jungle. Um, I did a shipwreck theme one year at my previous church, and so um, it's just different, and I think it will be fun for the kids, and what I like about it, and I'm just kind of going on a tangent now, so just bear with me, I like that so often we, we separate those things. We separate our faith from the science and the technology and, and the engineering, and they're just isolated things, but it doesn't have to be, and so really what I wonder does is, is it talks about, you know, how how science and technology and all of that is so intricate and is so intentional and structured and we are too and our faith is and the way God has made us was so intentional and intricate and he you know was so careful with the different things that he weaved into each of our lives just like a scientist or an engineer is so careful with the different steps they take and so I just love that it, it's it talks a lot about identity but it also talks about service how we can use what God has given us as unique individuals to go out and, and to make the world a better place. And that's what we need right now, right? So it's great. So the thing about it, the thing about Grow VBS is that it's structured a little differently than you might be used to. Um, typically what I'm used to, what you're probably used to, VBS is like station based. So you would have like a craft room and a snack room and the groups would travel on a rotating schedule similar to what we did on Palm Sunday and Easter. But this is a little different. So we start with our large group time and then each group, which will be based on age um, and grade, will go to a classroom. It will be their classroom and they'll stay there. And as I was talking to some uh, volunteers and parents we as earlier in this year about what we want VBS to look like, we really just kind of came to the conclusion that we just want community. We just want these kids to be forming relationships and connections because that has not been possible for the last year. They've been so isolated and I know you and I have felt that as adults, but these kids have felt that too. And so what I like about the small group staying put is that it's just it's just a little family group and they'll they'll just form those connections and the way we're gonna split it up is hopeful to have those groups be a little smaller than maybe they are on a Sunday morning. So smaller groups will lead to big, bigger connections and better conversations and discussions. So they'll stay there and each classroom will have everything they need. Um, and then we'll also bring in snack to them and, and all of that. So they won't have to be traveling a lot. So we're excited about that. After that, that will be the bulk of the time, of course. After they're in their groups, they'll come back to the worship center for um, closing. We'll just do a little reflection. We'll talk about our memory verse, what we learned about. Um, some of uh, the closings have a little game in it, so just fun. So parents will drop off and pick up in the worship center just to make it easier 
right? And so if they have multiple kids in different groups, they don't have to go find them all across the church. Everybody will just be there. So anyway, prior to VBS, what can we do to make this an awesome, awesome week. I have started purchasing some supplies and, and the awesome thing about the free curriculum is that we have a lot of wiggle room when it comes to decorations and crafts and snacks. We can be really creative and really make this an exciting week. So there are a few different roles that Grow suggests we uh, roll with before VBS and one of those is promotions. And this is something that every single one of us can do. Some of you might feel more called than others to do this a little bit more, a little bit less, but I just want to blast promotion for VBS. On our social medias, of course, it will go on the Riverbank Kids pages, the main River Church pages, all of that, but please, if you feel called, share it on your personal page. You guys know so many more families than I do. You have so many different connections, and, and we just have a wide range of opportunity here. And so as I roll out those promotion pictures and images, which are coming so soon, Take those, download them, share them on your page. That is like one of the best things we can do before VBS. And it sounds simple, but it really has such a big impact. So promotions. Also, word of mouth. If you come across families that you know at the park, play dates, whatever, just be like, hey, you know, what does your summer look like? What does your July 12th through 15th look like? You know, this is what my kids are going to be doing, where I'm going to be at. Come join us. We want you to join us. So promotions are huge. So another thing we can do to really set us up for success on the week of VBS is get our crafts ready. <laughs> so it sounds simple. Again, all of these do, but such a big impact. With being a STEM theme, it's hands-on crafts. And they're not difficult as far as kids won't be able to do them. There's just parts and pieces. And I just want us to start getting those ready, getting them organized by class, by group, and just make it as smooth as possible for our group leaders. That's really my heart because group leaders is our biggest need, right? We need people there during VBS, but I want to make it simple for them. It's a big commitment to volunteer every night for a week or for, or for four days, at least for a few hours. It's a big commitment, so I want to make it smooth for them. So starting to get those supplies, get them in, organize them, put them where they need to be is going to be huge. So if you're crafty, you like that, let me know and, and we can work out some times for you to come in, help me, all of that. So crafts, snacks is another thing. So our snacks are gonna be so fun. They're gonna be space and, and technology and science related. Like I said, Lindsay has volunteered to kind of take those snacks to the different rooms every night, which is gonna be a huge blessing, but a lot of those can be prepared ahead of time. Um, and also, the uh, on our work days. We're going to talk about some work days that we're going to have. That will be a huge time to get these snacks ready. And so if you like food and you like being creative, this is an awesome, awesome opportunity. And then like I said, group leaders, I know that you signed up to help ahead of time and we have tons of things that you can do. But if you are able and if you are willing, we need group leaders for the week of. We have an awesome team already planned, but we can always use more. And like I said, our goal is that these groups of kids would be a little smaller than maybe a Sunday morning, but that is just all dependent on how many group leaders we have and how able we are to do that. And of course, also registration. If we don't have enough kids to stretch the groups out, we won't, but we want to be prepared in case we need to do that because I'm hopeful that with all of these restrictions lifting, like I said, that parents are going to be like just eager to send their kids to do things and so you know we could have a pretty big boom and so group leaders like I said I'm gonna make it so easy for you to run these groups everything will be in your room you're gonna get your material plenty in advance a lot of it is just read through and and facilitate these activities these crafts these games it's gonna be so so easy so please let me know if you are willing to be a group leader um, I will beg you. That is our biggest need, of course. But if that is not your calling, please know that's okay. And we have plenty of things to do in advance. A couple of those things being the work days we're going to have. So we have two work days scheduled, and that is July 10th and July 12th. So right before VBS. It's the Saturday before, and then the Monday of we'll meet for a little bit. So if you are available on either of those days from 9 a.m. to noon or come and go as you need those days, I will be there and we will be working 
that Saturday we will be doing kind of setting up classrooms, kind of getting some stuff ready. Of course, we can't decorate a ton because we'll have church on the 11th. And I don't know if the whole congregation will appreciate planets and stuff just floating from the ceilings. So we'll just do some of the behind the scenes stuff, get those snacks ready, get those crafts ready. And then July 12th, it's going to be just decorations galore. And thankfully we can leave those up throughout the week. But um, that is going to be a huge huge need. So if you are available July 10th, July 12th, 9 to noon, please let me know. I would love to have you there. It's going to be a huge, huge blessing. So if you are planning on being a group leader, if you would like to do that, let me know. Let me know regardless. Um, if you could reply to this email and say, hey, I love promoting. I love connections. Let me help you do this. Crafts, snacks, um, any of those things, let me know where you're feeling called to serve. But if you are planning on being a group leader, I would love us to gather by 515 the first night, so that 12th, where I will just kind of show you guys, here's your classroom, here's the flow, answer any questions, because it's going to be the same structure every night, so that first night should be enough. But you will get your material for the entire week plenty in advance before that, so you're not like, I have to leave a group in 45 minutes and I don't know what I'm doing. That's not the case. I just want us to gather for a little bit, just pray it out, and just kind of answer some questions that we might have. So that is what I have for you today. I hope all of that is clear. If you have any questions, please let me know. So again, if you could just reply to this video, this email, and let me know where you're feeling called to serve. If you just want to show up on our work days, you can't commit to anything else before or during, that's a blessing. It's a huge blessing. Again, it's July 10th and July 12th. Let me know if you'll be there. But also, if you're like, I want to help promote, I want to help with the snacks, the crafts, I want to be a group leader, let me know and we will start making the schedule. We will start hashing this out. And like I said, I am excited for this VBS. I think it's going to be a great, great four days. Um, if you would like to see some of the material ahead of time, if you're planning on being a group leader or if you just love decorations and snacks and you want to get some inspiration, let me know. I will get that to you. It's so awesome. It is a great curriculum. I think the kids are going to love it. I think you guys will love it. So anyway, thank you guys so much for your time today. Thank you for watching this and committing to help make VBS an awesome week. I am praying for you guys. I look forward to hearing from you and working with you in the next couple months. We are at uh, pretty much the just under two months point. So we have plenty of time, but uh, time flies. So we want to definitely take advantage of it and get some stuff started so we are not frantic and we can just enjoy the week. I want us to enjoy VBS. It's going to be awesome. So have an awesome day, an awesome weekend. I'll see you guys on Sunday or around the church in the next few weeks, and I will talk to you soon. Thanks, guys.